Hello gents, my farm will want to greet you all this morning. Um, he's, he want to say hello to you. There it is, he say hello. Okay, farm will wave to my YouTube friends. There it is. Okay, gents, <clears throat> I want to show you something what I, what I do now. Um, I replace the water temperature meter, there is the probe and when I removed this one, the old one um, I screwed this one on but my my screw thread there is much smaller to go into that that part there so I for a moment thought uh, they give me the, the wrong meter um, but then I realized that there came this part with a meter so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put it in there and then screw this one in there and therefore I need to remove the alternator okay guys I managed to get that one loose but he was Really, really hard to get out. Okay, maybe I can turn it with the end. Okay, so the next step will be, and hopefully, you can see the water coming out. Hopefully, this part, this part now go in there. And there it fits 100%. Okay, so I'll put in the meter further and show you. Okay, gents, the probe is in, as you can see there. So I'm gonna move now to the meter. All right, gents, I want to show you what I've uh, done today so far. Uh, you've seen me replace that uh, probe of a temperature. And you've also seen this wheel previously and I've also done the, this right one so this is now also on the tractor and then of course the new water meter temperature meter is on as well as the oil pressure meter because once I've started the engine start the engine I don't want to um, damage the engine due to bad oil pressure or overheating and I've also purchased a coil because I'm going the route of an external coil and I uh, decided to take one with a resistor and you will also see it's a 12 volt I'm going to uh, revert this tractor to a 12 volt because the 6 volt part is, is not easy obtainable here. I could not find a battery or a coil today. And then lastly, when I took the, the probe out, there was a little bit of rusty water that came out, uh, uh, probably 50 milliliters. And further it was clean, clean water, which is a good thing. So I'm going to put some antifreeze now in. I used this bottle already and I use, um, it's a normal not if something very special, it's shield antifreeze summer coolant. Um, so I'm gonna put this full liter also in. That's about what I've lost. It seem, seems if the engine is not, not really rusted inside. 
Okay, so there it is. Let's see the the level. It's not. I can put a little bit more in. Um, okay, gents, that was for for now for today. What I've managed to do, and probably I will do see what can I do further. I also purchased this fitting here but it was a wrong one and I've also purchased one for there which is also a, the wrong one uh, but I can use that on my on my uh, lister okay gents this is only a, a update on my farm wall for today thank you just a little a last part of little bit info this is the amp meter I've got a new one but I will do and put it on later when I start it and um, that will be the weekend and a nice view with the wheels that is in the turned position all greased up and the alternator is back or the generator Alright guys, thank you for watching and if you like the video, please like and subscribe.